Friends, this is how I would budget my income if I were a fresh graduate earning $3,000 a month. So I'll be following Ramit Sethi's conscious spending plan for this breakdown. I will first start off with the biggest bucket, which is our fixed cost. So that will be 40 to 50% of my income, which is around $1.2 to $1.5,000 a month. Fixed costs will include things like rent, mortgage, utilities, transportation, groceries, debt repayment, subscriptions, parents allowance, insurance, etc. And whatever number I come up with, I will add 15% just as a safeguard against things that I forget to add in. For this video, I'm going to be using my life as an example, which means as a fresh graduate, I was still living with my parents. I'm still living with my parents. So I don't have to pay for utilities or rent. So my fixed cost when I was a fresh graduate was really, really low, which is why I moved it from Ramit's recommended 50% actually down to 40%. If your fixed costs are even lower than that, I would recommend putting all the extra money into to the next category which will be investment. Investment is where real wealth is created and that's where 15% of my monthly salary would go to every single month. That would be about $450 a month plus any extra from the fixed cost bucket. The next 15% will go into my savings which will also be another $450. So the savings would include my emergency fund and on top of my emergency fund it'll include money that I plan to spend in the next one to five years. So it could be things like house down payment, wedding, an expensive luxurious trip. But what I recommend would be to fill up your emergency fund first and then save up for all these other things. I would put all $450 into my emergency fund until I fill it up to three to six months of expenses and then I would use the savings money to save up for all these other fun things. And lastly, in his conscious spending plan, we have 20 to 30% of guilt-free spending. That's 600 to 900 dollars every single month which can be spent on anything you want and the most important thing about guilt-free spending is that you spend it on things that you enjoy it doesn't matter if other people think it's a waste of money it doesn't matter if it's an expensive bag if it's starbucks coffee granola bowls whatever you do you this is 20 to 30 percent of your income that you can spend guilt-free because you know that the rest of your financial system is intact and as a fresh graduate it's your first taste of freedom and your own money so you do want to be able to reward yourself for work otherwise you're gonna burn out at 23 which is just not fun remember there's nothing wrong with spending your money as long as you're doing it in moderation follow us if you would like more videos like this and yeah let me know how you guys would budget three thousand dollars or how you guys have been budgeting three thousand dollars